now we can look at stocks that have the lowest standard deviation and we can allocate more to those stocks. We will take a look at the graph. It's right here we see that we have with the blue line we have not much volatility. We allocated 5% for each stock. So now we're going to allocate more to stocks who have the lowest standard deviation. And we will take a look if we can, if you take the high and the low and this distance, if we can decrease that distance with our new orange line. So for that, first I will change everything to 5% again. So we can start all over again. And I'll run it. It should be the same. It should be the same result. It's the same. So the graph will be the same. It's one graph now. It's not plotting the second one because he's overlapping. Uh, and we'll take a look at the lowest numbers. So BHP is low. Google is relatively low, Coca-Cola is low, and Pepsi is low, and Procter and Gamble is low. In order to not change everything in our portfolio, I will just change the values of Pepsi, Procter and Gamble, and Coca-Cola. And we'll take a look at our return and at our risk. We will take a look at how much impact these three stocks have on our standard deviation. So we'll change Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Procter and Gamble. So we'll say 10% for Coca-Cola. So Procter and Gamble is the 16th, and Pepsi is the 15th. So we will locate 10% to Pepsi and 10% to Procter and Gamble. And now we have to change yet. Now we have 15% um, on plus. So we have 115 right now. We need to have 100. So now we will look at stocks who have the highest standard deviation and we will lower their position. So this is gonna be CrowdStrike, Enphase, and MP Materials. So we're going to lower those three positions. So CrowdStrike is number four in our list. So we'll say more. We will locate 1%. And end phase is the seventh one. So we will also allocate 1%. And MP Materials is the 11th. So we will allocate 1% for MP materials. Now we have yet 3% we have to change because we kept one. So we still have 103%. So we'll check which stock has another high standard deviation. Um, all the model. It's going to be all tomorrow. So we're going to lower this position also. This is the first one. And we lower this by 3%. So we will take 2% for all tomorrow. And we'll run that again. And normally, this second portfolio should have a lower standard, a lower average standard deviation than the first portfolio. And but we'll check, we'll see. 68 and this one is okay so we have a much lower average return so it's not the total return but it's the average return which is lower so we'll plot the graph okay okay so we see if we measure we will have a much lower risk with this portfolio you see the distance between the high and the low is smaller than the distance between this high, this low and this high so this portfolio with 5% allocation has more risk and a little bit more uh, return. This one has low risk and a lower return. But anyway, on average, you still get 46% with this portfolio, 
Well, with this one, you will get 60%, but you can have much more, you can expect much more volatility in your portfolio.